Hello viewers, welcome once again to my new multi-part screencast. So today, this is the presentation part, it will be the multi-part screencast. Today I try to cover very short overview about template and repository programming and the applicability of this of those programming part a template or, or um, template or repository programming in respect to the monolithic application and versus the microservice application and i will try to produce some some restful web services uh, from the by using the open street map data data sets because it's a, there is a lot of data is a free data and and final and then i will do some server side testing uh, with the junit and after the releasing the the services restful apis then i will do the do the uh, postman uh, client side api testing and after that there will be the another projects to to consume those restful services and produce some gui by using the uh, theme lib template engine or for this case you can use different template in engine like uh, google template engine or any 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 ui javascript based framework for 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 consuming those services and and generate those those web pages or websites or any any or you, you can you can get any support from the HTML based any framework to integrate those. Let's have you see the the, the diagram like this. so we have the data sets. It's a database is a PostGIS database with the extension of PostGIS, and we we produce our we we migrate our database from the from the any GIS tools to the, our our local data sets. And then we develop our REST APIs, and after that we consume our REST API um, via via theme lib, theme lib uh, template engine. And then you see the here is the the main uh, main data access pattern. So we can say here the SQL based access Excel and access pattern, or or ORM or GOM based um, access pattern. So, in this is the SQL based access pattern is the older technology. You already know the plain JDBC and then Spring JDBC and there is a templates and the repositories programming. I will talk will later very detail about that one. So there is a and in the in the ORM and GOM based um, access pattern in JPA Hibernate and they they has both the templates and repositories and there is a, other tools like Joke and then apache db units and there is a orm based in eclipse link and open jpa so what's the the difference between those two apis like template api and repository api so that's it there's a two different technologies like the sql based and non sql based databases so templates um, api basically is the, the standard template pattern so it can communicate your persistent engine persistence layer with with the uh, basically in the sql or, or sql script based com uh, script based um, the accessing way and the repository APIs, you can say this is the central, um, yeah, central Spring data cent uh, centric approach is uh, more complex and in some time it is more flexible to to produce such a such a such a crude functionalities based on your your under underlying um, persistence layer. So I, I here find out mostly it is use the SQL or SQL based script and this is the GOM or ORM based and then and this is the most important part the normally in the in the real life applications um, in template we, we, we is possible to combine in the in the in the monolithic or microservice application based and uh, microservice application based architectures in in the normally the repositories programming APIs it's, it's normally used the microservice applications and uh, modern days is 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 most of the applications is they needed really faster systems and and really and 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 really 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 faster rendering systems for the for the web pages that's why 
uh, the the repository application repository based APIs is more faster than and template based APIs. Even though yes, there is a lot of monolithic application. Um, it's it's we need we still we need to to apply the template application template APIs to 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 run our monolithic systems. And yes, this is the modern uh, approach to to handle the our data access in the in the in the in the microservice world. So here is the see that the pictures like the SQL based and the SQL based means the Postgres SQL database, MySQL, MySQL or Oracle or any any relational database. And if you see that there is a lot of templates, the JDBC template, Hibernate template, and JPA template, and simple JDBC template. So those are the templates uh, is possible uh, depending on um, how you handle the your your access layer. You and then. And and you know though the JDBC is plain JDBC. There is a lot of boiler code you have to be wrote, and then you maintain the, your your boiler code code. And then when you use the template, and this is more easier and more flexible. To you do not write to write a lot of boilerplate code to 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 access your data. And if you see that the in the non SQL databases there is this its has each vendor has own template and own repository. You see the MongoDB has in Mongo templates and Cassandra has a Cassandra template and Redis has a Redis template and even though in the Elastic Search has a has a as Elastic Search template and other non SQL database has own templates and repositories. So they the the specific. So you see this part in the in the in the in the in the, in the SQL part there is a specific Repo templates and specific repositories. So JPA repositories and crude repository and paging and sorting repositories. In the other, in the on the other previous videos, I I already integrate those uh, those those repositories in JPA, crude and and uh, paging and sorting depending on the in the applications. And you see the the own. Even though in the those the repository JPA and crude and paging and sorting repository is uh, applicable for for in general in the non SQL database also, there is a, another template. This is the most important template because later we try to uh, consume our APIs via this the REST template engine. So that means with that this template engine as like the Postman, you can did your 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 crude operation based on these template engines. So here is the the why we need the uh, template programming for data access. So it's provide the various kind of persistent storage, and it's uh, it's a, it's a simplified web layer for each each storage that you already saw, and ensure the the any required uh, Spring features to integrate it clearly with the your persistence layer. So that means it's it's handle for the a template. Uh, APIs or template is handle your 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 all request or all boilerplate codes. So here is the short overview and the template JDBC template. You see that, that to access the JDBC database using the SQL operations means uh, your your all all select, update, delete, and 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 put. Or even though in the your HTTP, HTTP request, HTTP bars like put, get, delete, or crude operations in the Hibernate, you see that the difference between. So in in the Hibernate world, you can go with the alternative way. So that means if you use the Hibernate template, not the Hibernate based repositories. And you can use the template engine in the same functionalities, but it's depend on the your application level how you you try to handle. Uh, if you in, uh, depending, it's depending. It's normally in JDBC. If if in this case, if you don't have any any models in data models like your your, your object models or entity models, or your your ORM models or your GOM models, then in that case uh, there is no alternative way to come up with the uh, the Hibernate or JPA or any, any anything like that. But you have to go with the JDBC because it is completely based on your SQL operations or SQL script. So here is the short description how we can where and what the alternative way to to integrate the, your template or or versus your your repositories. So here is it says that the plain, the plain JDBC and Spring JDBC and and JDBC template. This is the SQL operation. You see that it's it's simplify 
or is facilitated or provide you all the SQL operations if you if you use this the JDBC template not even though you can go with the plain JDBC the, the all monolithic application or your, your older application is still in JDBC or Spring JDBC and then you can do the, the operations and you see the the so you see the the removing the 70 to 80 percent your boilerplate code to 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 handle and to your exception and managing all resources so it's, it's a good idea to 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 record or decode your your source code from 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 plain jdbc or spring jdbc to to the um, uh, jdbc template so here the the the, the final goal i i already said uh, the final goal will be the uh, producing or exposing some some uh, OSM data set as a REST API. And if you saw here the, some some content, uh, the OSM data set, OpenStreetMap data set has a building information with different type of uh, buildings, commercial, industrial, and residential, and roads information, and land use information, point of interest, and waterways, railways, and and places. It's, it's this those data is free and is 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 containing every country in the world so now this data set normally I work with in, in data sets from the Bangladesh or even though in Germany you can integrate it is is a, is a, is a really good data you can you can do some play with that one and produce some services and and build some 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 GUI part and see how it's working and then the to integrate the technology so you see the content of the data sets the the OSM buildings data set it has the name and type and and also the geometry. This is the most important part. If you are working with the with the maps, uh, Google Maps or OpenStreetMap, whatever it is, this is the important part. So it's uh, these data sets, uh, the OSM data set is containing the geometry information. So that's an important one. So here is the main uh, main annotation that I would like to use my the implementations and uh, this is the next mesh next multiple screencast will be that you can see it how is it integrated and how is it annotated. So in the in the in the in the development and configuration, I use those those annotations and then uh, mainly those annotation. There is more. And the server side annotation is the Spring Boot testing, and then JUnit testing and Java JUnit. So here you see that the the one of the screencast, uh, the pictures. The so we before we try to release our APIs, our RESTful APIs, we need to oversure. We need to test our our functionality in the server side. So it is a, I say here service web services. API server side testing with JUnit and every functions that you have it in the in the server then you need to unity first before releasing the REST API you need to server side test so uh, for these projects I did some almost 50% test coverage or 50 to 75% test coverage depending on the on the functionalities complexities and I will I will produce those screencasts in the next uh, next one and it's, it will be multi-part uh, screencast. So the developments, when I did the development, I will do the server-side test, and then then I did the, all the configurations, and you deploy your APIs in, into somewhere in some machines, and and then and after that you have to run your your your, your API. RESTful API client side testing with Postman's. For this case, you can use the SOAP UI or, or any any REST, REST client APIs to to test your your RESTful API in the client side. So in the pictures, and and this is the pictures. So one of the test cases. So because the, this application, we are trying to reading the the data from the OpenStreet um, Maps data sets, and it's only the only the get methods in the HTTP get methods. They're nothing to do with crude operations. So this is the portal application. Uh, portal APIs just you, you already saw the lot of web website or a lot of application there is a, there is a divided by something like that so only the portal on the on the reading the data and the other part will be the writing or, or editing deleting this those part so in the in the, in the if you look for the for the eBay or or, or even though 
in the in the eBay or Amazon, they are only the, there is a major part is a portal part. So they are presenting data, they are selling something, and that's 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 really important to 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 those to to understand or to build those uh, portal applications or web application or portal APIs. Then the web developer can integrate those APIs to build their portal, depending or your applications. So this is in screen screenshot uh, that's looking for I am trying to doing doing some all tests because I did, already did the server side test now I the same functionalities we need a real client test because this is the real test and the, the web developer has to be integrate those those tests and they will see the okay here is my parameters here my parameter combination here my URL or here my authentication so that's that's things they can see there even though those uh, those and test case you can export it to the other developer the third party developer who are using the the who are trying to to call your APIs then they can see the okay here is the pictures and then they can very quickly and flexibly build their their web pages with with any framework like uh, I use here the themelib you can use the javascript based any frameworks to build the GUI or even though you can use the grails and then you can go to the, the the gsp page and or even though you can go to the gsp also java server pages anywhere any GUI frameworks to, to build to call these APIs and build a web pages. That was the idea. So this is the really, really important part to when you did your your web service development, you need to serve a side test and then you need to go to client side test. That means your real API test. And then uh, then this is because here I try to produce some 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 GUI part because a lot of viewers and a lot of subscribers say, oh Mustafa Please try to build uh, some some GUI ap applications and to consume you uh, the APIs. That's why I try to. I am not the GUI expert, but I try to call the 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 web services or REST APIs to build such a such a, such a GUI part. You see, I have only only seven functions or seven web services for reading, and and I call the I I develop those uh, the web pages with the Timlib. It's being Timlib template engine uh, in GUI UI, and I, I when I interact this one, and I see you see the down level. Uh, that's the 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 web service we are calling the web service and uh, produced those those pages and there's a lot of data there is a thousand so it here this case in in total in Bangladesh is taking almost uh, forty thousands record for the for the building informations and then I, I check it like I now I try to load the first 100 thousand records and then do the and the next one next one and you can search functionalities and you can search it what type of object you are trying to what type of names you can try search it by name type even though you can pass it id for for the geo geo searching with the with some buffer it's still not i didn't implement it but it's possible because you already had the data and you could just put it your your points and search for how many and put it your 10 kilometers or five kilometers and look for some school or hospitals or whatever it is you can search the possibility with these those 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 API the restful APIs so then finally thanks and then um, and then um, I will I will I will do the next screencast the developments uh, development part and and then the server side testing part and the uh, and the um, client API testing part, and then there will be the another projects like the in the in the um, Spring Boot Themlib projects, and then call the APIs and produce those those web pages with Themlib engine. And thank you all. If you have any questions, please put the command below uh, in the in my channels, and I will I will try to get you give a give feedback and and just wait, uh, and then I will add. Uh, all the next uh, all the um, multi-part screencast and and put it the, all the source code for the both projects in the server side project rest api projects and also the on the on the gui projects uh, in the, in the github in in the my github and i will uh, try to add it in the github uh, link into the into the into the screenshot in the youtube channels so thank you and 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 bye bye goodbye